Hi, this is uh, Galactic Bacon and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Elite Dangerous first mission guide. So, if you're following on from my last video, hopefully you guys have completed the starter tutorial and you're ready to do your first mission. And uh, so today's video is going to be a walkthrough uh, tutorial uh, on how you complete that first mission so let's dive straight in if you have the game in front of you uh, I'm just going to log in um, just a little bit about the different game scenarios uh, before we get started um, you have five different ways of playing Elite Dangerous you have open play uh, which enables you to meet other players and multiplayer uh, gameplay, uh, the private group sessions where you can create your own private group uh, to play the game, the solo play uh, where you're playing on your own, uh, you don't meet any other players uh, in game apart from NPCs, arena is if you want to get into combat straight away um, with smaller ships you can do that as well arena play there's training if you want to go back and do some of the training again you can do that as well um, I tend to mostly play in open play I'd encourage you to uh, do open play there is more risk involved in losing money losing your ships but that's part of the fun of playing Elite Dangerous um, I know some people like to play it safe and do solo play. Um, the only occasion I would maybe encourage you to do that or maybe for you to think about doing that is if you have uh, an expensive ship, you're on your last rebuy, you don't have enough money to rebuy the ship if you if you lose it. Uh, it may be a case that you want to play in solo till you build up your funds a little bit, uh, but it's up to you. I I would encourage you to do open play. Uh, it's the best way to experience the game, in my opinion. Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, we're in, and uh, we're back in the station that we finished off with in the last uh, tutorial, and we're now ready to find our mission, and then navigate to the station that we're going to visit to complete a mission, uh, and I'll talk you through uh, all of that. So first of all, press 1 in your navigation panel to bring that panel up on your left hand side. You can use the Q and E keys to navigate through the tabs at the top. We are going to Transactions and we're going to click on the only mission that is there out into the black. So we'll press the space bar and I'll select on the joystick. So it's telling us that we have to visit the system uh, Dromi and dock at Mawson Dock. And there we will collect 10,000 credits from the Pilots Federation Administration. And we have 6 days, 21 hours and 57 minutes to complete this task. You'll find that uh, missions usually have a time limit on them. Uh, some you get longer, some shorter. Uh, so it's always worth checking that. Uh, make sure you have enough time to complete a mission. So if you can select at the bottom, I'd encourage you to open the galaxy map at this point, just so that you have an idea where we're going to be travelling to. So open galaxy map, press space, and you have the galaxy map in front of you. Uh, depending on what your key bindings are, I think the, if you have a mouse that has a middle button with a wheel on it, uh, you should be able to zoom in and out, otherwise you may have to use the plus and minus keys or set up some keys for the zoom function. 
So if you zoom out all the way out, you will have a grand overview of the Milky Way, which uh, is amazing. It just gives you an idea just how big space is and how tiny we are. Uh, zoom back in. And uh, just above the Dromi uh, star, uh, main star, uh, you will see a little planet icon that is telling you that that is where your selected mission uh, is, location is. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the star itself and you should see a little orange half circle uh, appear. It tells you that you have... Uh, that you're hovering over that particular uh, system. So click on that. And uh, if we were just going to select the system, we would click on this icon here, uh, which says Select. But I'm not going to do that just now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to System Map. We're going to click on System Map and select that. And we now have a graphic representation of what a system looks like. Now, on my keyboard, I have the A and D keys, which allow me to move around the system map. And um, if I do that and then zoom in with my mouse, I can also zoom in on objects. Uh, if I select a moon or a planet, I can zoom right in. My right button is used to rotate an object around. So you can see all around it and my middle mouse wheel enables me to zoom right out as well. Um, so what we're going to do, there is our target Moss and Dock. We're going to zoom in so that we can see that. We're going to select it and we're going to plot our route to the station. Now the reason I do it this way is... Uh, you can do it the other way and just select the system itself, but it means that when you arrive in a system, you then have to look through your nav navigation panel and actually find what your uh, final destination is. Doing it this way, it means that when you arrive at the new system, the uh, your navigation aids will already have this uh, station, Moss and Dock, as the target. There's no right or wrong way of doing it, to be honest, but um, if you're starting out, you may find this uh, just a little bit easier doing it this way. So press the back button, so space, and again, and I press one to get rid of the panel. So we have our target, um, and the, the way you just double check that you have a target selected, if you go over to navigation, and you'll see there, our current system at the top is System Matet System. And if you look along to the right, our next jump, Destination Dromi. So that tells you that you have your target set. So press 1 to get rid of the panel again. We're going to Auto Launch. Press Space. Now you don't have to do anything at this point because we are auto launching so don't worry about controlling the ship you won't be able to control anything uh, at, at the moment. So we'll just wait till auto launch disables. Okay, auto launch has completed. So what we're going to do now is we have our target selected and you may be able to see the little indicator just to the left of our radar shows a little uh, circle and there's a sort of white blue 
dot to the top um, right hand side and uh, that is telling us where our target is so you want to move your joystick or if you're using the mouse um, move the ship so that the target is in the middle and I'm going to do that just now and then you should see our target system uh, right in front of you so before we can travel to the system if you notice down in the bottom right hand side we are currently mass locked so we can't travel while we're mass locked so we have to increase our thrust so press w um, or increase your thrust in the joystick we're going to move away from the space station uh, you may want to use boost to speed this up a bit so press tab to boost and we are no longer mass locked okay so now what you need to do you need to engage your fsd frame shift drive and the default key is the j button for that so press j just make sure you're still on target Okay, just a little tip when you arrive in a system, make sure you pull the joystick up uh, or away from the star. So I'm going to pull up, away from the star. If you do fly into the star, you will overheat and probably burn up fairly quickly. Just a little warning. Okay, so... As you notice, uh, the little indicator just to the left of the radar that it shows a representation of a space station so that's telling us that is what our current target is so what we need to do is we now need to move the joystick or mouse so that we are facing our target so I'm going to pull up until the little white dot is in the middle and there's Moss and Dock ahead of us okay so what we're going to do next is we're, we're currently in super cruise. You'll see that we are cruising at 30 kilometers per second. So we need to speed up a lot more to travel to this uh, space station. What I'm going to do, I'm going to increase my thrust until the speed indicator is in the blue zone. And that will automatically adjust our speed as we approach the space station. You can go faster than that if you want to speed things up, but just be aware it is easy to overshoot objects if you do that. If you remain in the blue zone, your ship will readjust your speed accordingly as long as you make sure your target is ahead of you. If you lose the target, then the speed will lock on to something else. So we just want to make small adjustments to make sure our target is ahead of us. And if you notice, we are now decelerating as we get closer. We're slowing down even further. When we get to within 1 million miles of our target, this is when we disengage our frameshift drive. And we're coming in near a ring system. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's maybe a good idea this has happened because it will perhaps teach you something else about the game. Okay, so what I've done is I didn't realise that my target was the other side of this ring, uh, planetary ring. So the only way we're going to reach our target is to fly through uh, the ring or fly around it so I recommend flying around it um, so what we're going to do is uh, we need to 
super cruise away from the ring. Um, so press J for frameshift drive. Uh, make sure your speed indicator is in the blue zone so that you adjust your speed. Uh, turn your ship around so that you have a little idea to see if you have passed the rings. Start heading towards your target again. Now we're under the rings and there's our station ahead of us. Okay. Um, and we're beginning to speed up now. Sorry, I'm not at the target at all. Where are we? There we go. Moss and Dock. Try and keep the Target in the middle. Now we can disengage. Press J. And we're at our destination. Okay. Right. Once you're within seven and a half kilometers of the station, reduce your speed. Uh, and we're good. We're going to reduce it down to zero, just so we don't have any accidents or bump into anything. And uh, before docking with the station, we need to request docking, uh, first of all. So what we're going to do is press 1 to bring up your nav panel. You see the motion dock is selected there. We're going over to contacts. And you have a number of contacts. So you have the space station itself, Moss and Dock. There are various ships in the vicinity. Don't select those. So press the space bar to select Moss and Dock. And then move, use the A or D keys to highlight request docking. Press the space bar or click to select that. Docking request has been granted. And we're auto docking, so press one to get rid of your panel. And now you can sit back and relax uh, as you auto dock. By the way, if you want to have a look around at what's happening while you dock, you can use the head look facility which uh, in my setup is the middle mouse button so if you click the middle mouse I think that's the default you should be able to look around although in auto dock that seems to be disabled never mind You notice the stations have numbers on them that tells you which uh, pad you're heading towards. So we are heading to pad 12. Okay, uh, now, um, what I was saying about uh, head look, if you press the middle mouse button, you can have a look around the station, see how pretty it is. Um, your ship should also be set up so that when you look left, your nav panel will come up automatically, although a smaller version of it. And if you look to the right, you have another information panel comes up as well. If you look down, 
you have another panel comes up connected with SRV, crew, fighters, etc. And if you look straight ahead, you have all your other panels. If you look to the top left, it will highlight your comms panel. If you look to the top right, you'll be able to see your other info panel. To reset your head look, just press the middle mouse button again and it will centre. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do next, we're going to enter Starport Services. Uh, probably before we do that, actually, enter the hangar first. Um, you don't have to enter the hangar, it's just something I do. Sometimes things can kick off uh, in the station. Uh, if somebody's done something illegal. I don't think I've ever been... Uh, lost a ship that way but you know if somebody starts firing on you when you're on the landing pad who knows um, but anyway so we're in the sta safety of the station uh, click on starport services hit the space bar now we are looking for the mission board as we were instructed and there's a little exclamation mark next to it uh, press spacebar on mission board and uh, there our mission should be in front of us out into the black hand in mission so we're going to press the spacebar select that mission and we have a reward so choose your reward Okay, so we have completed our mission and we've been rewarded. If you want to double check that you do actually uh, have that money in the bank, if you click on back and then exit, and if you press number four on your keyboard, it will bring up the right hand panel. And then if you look at your commander information at the bottom, it tells you your current balance. So balance is 11,000 credits because we started off with 1,000. We have been paid 10,000, so we now have 11,000 credits in the bank. Okay, uh, that's all for today. That's your first mission completed. Hopefully uh, you found that helpful. Please subscribe. Uh, comment on the video, like uh, if if you found it useful today. Uh, come back the next time and I'll have another Elite Dangerous uh, tutorial for you. Uh, when we look at next steps after doing your first mission, uh, we'll have a look at um, different career paths that you might want to choose uh, within Elite Dangerous and how you progress in the game from here. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.